Hello, Reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Nova Itas. Hmm, that's something that I'm not incredibly good with, pronunciation, but this was a mod that was suggested to me only today, about two hours ago, I believe. Someone stated that it was coming out on ModDB, and I thought, wow, this looks and sounds very good. So... As you see by the splash screen here, very nice detailed artwork, I have to admit. We are going to be starting a new game and testing it out. Now, I don't necessarily have a lot of time, so I think we're probably going to be getting, shall we say, 20 to 30 minutes of this. And we might even have enough time for a second episode another day. So as you see here, welcome! In the next steps you will create your character and story. The year of our Lord 1423, more than thousand years after the fall of the Great Empire, a new era has begun for Calradia. Scholars have found new ways to gain knowledge. Kings to gain and maintain power, merchants to become richer and influential. The once fearful Kurgit Khanate is crumbling, and yet the kingdoms of Kalradia are fighting each other, overlooking a greater danger lurking in the east. The Dark Ages have ended. It is time to enlighten all of us. The Renaissance has begun. It's a time of rebirth. Classical sources teach us to optimize architecture, art, science, music, and let us think out philosophical ideas, views, and opinions. During the early years of this century, rich merchants have resurrected the long-forgotten town of Zendar. The Doge leads this merchant republic. The harbor of this town is the gateway to the west. Explorers with ships have done the greatest discovery of these times. There is more than Calradia. There is land in the west. This all has proven Zendar to be one of the prosperous towns of this world. It's time for you to begin your adventure. We will be a male for this. Now, as you may know, if you have seen my other special features, usually what I will do is choose the easiest start, because it is a special feature. I just want to show the entirety of the mod, or at least as much of the mod as I can potentially get to. And we are going to be selecting a baron fallen into disgrace. That sounds like a rather cool thing anyway. And we are going to be a page at a nobleman's court, a squire, and personal revenge. There we go. Now we get to choose a banner immediately. I'm not entirely sure whether they have new banners implemented just yet. It actually appears not. I think there may have been a little bit of an error at the start there. Not too sure whether you saw that, but it appears that maybe the new custom banners were not loaded in just yet. This is, however, a mod that has been in development for one year, just above one year, so... Do bear that in mind. This is probably going to be quite polished. Hopefully no crashes here and there. This is the very first time that I have launched it after all. So let's just see what we are going to pick here. I think this one looks pretty good. Now, allow me to quit without saving, of course. Reformist will be our name, as is the custom for special features. And we are going to be leveling up our intelligence, I think. That usually is the way to go with these things. And we're going to get one point in prisoner management. I did make a mistake with one of our other special features and didn't get any of that. So, let's see. We have three in riding skill. Probably want to get more in pathfinding. A little bit more in iron flesh as well. Some in athletics, maybe. And let's get one in surgery. Now, let's see. We have pole arms, two-handed weaponry, and one-handed weaponry. I think we'll level up our two-handed and one-handed a little bit. And then a little in archery, I suppose. And we'll continue from there. Now, let us randomize and get a nice-looking fellow. Let's see. What are we going to get here? Ooh. I think that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Should we make him, yeah, dark hair, and we'll change his hair a little bit. There we go. Oh my goodness. So, religion is a big deal in Calradia. The kingdoms of Swadia, Vagia, Rodox, follow the words of Christ, Son of God, fully divine and fully human and saviour of humanity, as prophesied in the Old Testament. The Saranids listened to the prophet, who was the last he sent. They believe their faith is the complete and universal version of a primordial faith that was revealed many times and places before. The Nords have their own pagan gods, like the hammer-wielding, humanity-protecting god Thor, who unrelentingly pursues his foes. The one-eyed or raven-flanked god Odin, who craftily pursues knowledge throughout the worlds and bestows among humanity the runic alphabet. Since the Khanate has invaded Calradia a few centuries back, they have introduced 
Tengriism. Really? I'm not entirely sure how you say that, but I'll go with that. This is not one single faith, but a name for a religion characterized by features of shamanism, animism, totemism, both polytheism and monotheism, and ancestor worship. Hmm, quite a few isms, okay. <laughs> there is only one faith left. It's not an official religion endorsed by a nation. It's Judaism, the oldest faith of all. Since the Chalredic Empire has burned down their grand temple a very long time ago, they spread out over Chalredia. Goodness me. Really? Okay, well, I have no idea. Shall we join the Nords for this? Sounds like a cool thing. We can follow Thor and Odin. That sounds cool. Let's go with that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Ooh, the map looks different. I have to admit, the map looks different, doesn't it? The textures are different, I think. Oh, and there's Zendar, just between Yelen and Jalkele. That is rather cool to see that. We should venture over there rather soon, I think. And we have 120 florins. Okay, so where do we start? We are right next to this training field here. So first off, we're going to be heading on to Rufar here. And we're going to be recruiting five volunteers. Oh yes, very nice to see that. Now, as is potentially the custom with mods nowadays, they're not necessarily letting us do the beginner starter quest with the merchant and his brother. So instead, what we're going to be doing is heading on over to the training field and we're going to gain a little bit of experience over there. And we're going to be sparring... <laughs> with one opponent. We have a sword and a shield, which is great. I think we should have the advantage. I hope. Oh, he's attempting to thrust at us. How dare you? You can only do thrusting from behind. Thank you very much. We are going to be attempting yet again. Now, as you see, we are moving in a different way. We are actually moving with our two-handed sword in a different way than is usual. So, yes, I think that might be a little bit of a change. Now, we have leveled up one of our units here. Now, what we need to do is try to travel around the land, try and find some bandits. That is probably going to be... A oh, my goodness, no. Hello. Please leave me alone, thank you. I would like to take on... No, not that group. Oh, my goodness. I'd like to take on one of them. There's ten of them here. But th yes, as we know, Sea Raiders have very good gear, and I would not really like to... Oh, there's looters. Yes. <laughs> Hello, looters. Let's do it. Close in and board the enemy. We're not on the ocean, are we? Oh my goodness. Okay, I didn't think we were on the ocean, but nevertheless, we are here. And I have maybe a bad feeling about this? I have no idea, but I did some damage. I actually did some pretty reasonable damage, to say the least. Now let's see if we can do some more. Oh, a little bit too much bulk drop right there. Okay, let's get out our one-handed sword, see if we can do some damage with that. That seems to be a better idea, in my opinion. Come on, take them down. Oh my goodness. Well, at least these naval battles are a little better than the ones in Warsword Conquest, because if you have seen my latest Chaos episode, you'll know that that is rather tricky to accomplish. Oh no. Ooh, I had a really bad feeling about that. I was so incredibly tense right there. Okay, we were able to destroy the looters, and we lost... Wow, almost all of our units. That is actually really disappointing. Goodness me, okay. And we got no loot from them either. Hmm. Hmm. Well. <laughs> I might have to head over to Sargoth and see what we can do about getting a guild master quest. Although at this point... Whoa, King Hakon the Sixth? Is that the Sixth? I think it is. We are going to be heading on to Sargoth, however. And we will check out... Oh, okay. We can... Oh, manage property. Yes. Now, this is a new addition to this particular mod. This is where you manage your property, buy or rent new houses. This is an excellent way to earn prestige and to increase in social class. So we can choose one of these. You search for a good spot. We can rent... We can rent a shack for 118 florins per week. We can get an apartment 
for 1,180. Oh my goodness. And we can also, I suppose, buy as well. Yes, you can. And if you buy, then I suppose you can rent it out and it will be a different way to potentially get money. That would be a pretty cool thing. Now, we can visit the local church as well. Not entirely sure what is involved with this, but we are... Oh my! Well, as you could probably tell by my stunned silence right here, this is impressive. We have sun shafts coming through the window right here. Oh, wow. Now that is impressive. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, yes, I'm going to end this off here. <laughs> that is a very good place to end. And here is Reformist. There's two of us. Oh, my goodness. We can take over the world now, can't we? Oh, wow. What is this? I have met in my travels one who calls himself Reformist. Let's do that. Oh, really? It is not everyone who dares mention that name in my presence. I am not sure whether to reward your bravery or punish you for your impudence. Oh, wow. I will indulge your curiosity. Well, Grave Earth defeated the Swadians, and for that, as a Roddock, I am grateful. When I am king, I will myself place the wreath of victory on his head, but after that I will have it separated from his shoulders, for by his actions he has shown himself a traitor to the Roddock Confederacy and its sacred custom. Really? Okay. Whoa. Okay, now let's see. What else can we do here? Shall we offer my sword in vassalage? No, we haven't shown ourselves. Wow, okay, I think maybe it needs a small update patch, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure what this fellow is for, though. Hmm, maybe if one of you knows, then by all means let me know in the comments and in the next episode. If there is a next episode, I think there probably will be, because this mod is just so huge. I think you probably need two episodes to fully explore the entirety of it, because as far as I'm aware, it focuses on extended gameplay. Which, of course, means that you have much more to do. I mean, look at the stained glass windows. Goodness me. This is a very good mod, I have to say. It is looking mighty impressive so far, and we haven't had any problems either. We have not seen any error messages, I suppose, and everything seems to be working quite nicely. I haven't checked out the marketplaces yet, of course, so let's see. Do you have a job for me? Yes, you do. He's looking for herdsmen to take his cattle to the market. I can take the herd, but is the herd going to follow me? I'm not entirely sure about that. Is it? Oh, careful. It is going to follow us. Oh, that is excellent. Or is it? No, that's just a caravan, isn't it? Yes, that is just a caravan. So where is the herd of cattle? Interesting. Hmm. Oh, move a cattle herd. Maybe it doesn't spawn it here or something. I have... Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. So you do have to push it. That is unfortunate, isn't it? Drive the cattle onward. No, they do follow you. They do follow you. Oh, that is excellent. I like that. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I do have to take a small break, but I will be back in just a moment. And then we will be taking our cattle to Halmar, which is all the way down here. Oh, no. That's going to cause us a great deal of pain if we come across any bandits. That is for sure. So, yes, I will see you very soon. Okay, so we are now back, and I am 100% more drenched, because I did have to go out into the garden and try to get our cats in. They are now in, thankfully, but I am, <laughs> yes, 100% more soaked. So we are now going to be transferring these cattle all the way down to Halmar, and it's going to be a rather treacherous journey, I do believe, because as you see here, we have some looters. I do believe if we didn't have to fight on the boat, we would have had a really good chance of actually doing this without having any problems whatsoever, but that was not our luxury, and we will just have to get these guys moving best as we can. Now, I'm hoping... Oh my. I'm hoping that these guys aren't going to attack the cattle. Are they going to attack the cattle? No, I don't think they will, surely. No, I don't think so. 
So we have a very good chance of being able to get down here because we are so fast. We have three in pathfinding after all, and we will very easily be able to make our way. Now, the one thing that I'm a little bit skeptical about is whether I should cut away here and only cut back for the more interesting parts of the journey, but as it stands, these cattle are moving very slowly indeed, because it of course is night time at the moment, and everyone moves slower in the night, that is a well-known fact. Well, no, not really, but still. <laughs> Let's see, they're now moving at 3.8, we're moving at 7.5, no wonder it seems slow to us. Okay, I'll cut away, if there's anything that happens that is exciting, or maybe something that I want to look at, then of course I will cut back. Okay, considering the towns I think have been retextured or something along those lines, I thought I would cut back here at Dirim, which is now owned by the Vajir Sardom, which is actually rather cool. As you can see here, the Vajirs own a huge, huge amount of land, and in comparison, the Nords only have Sargoth and Wurcheg. They don't even have Tyr anymore, and... The Swedians have Alderberg, Sunos, and Praven, as well as the newly renamed Tyr as well. And, of course, then you have the Vajirs with all of these. And how is the Carnate doing? Not bad. They have three towns. Saranids are doing very well. They have five as well. And the Vrodox aren't doing too well, but better than the Nords. Goodness me. Trust me to choose the one that is... The least powerful, but there it is. Okay, so we are going to take a walk around the streets. Now, this is where it becomes a little different. As you see here, we want to visit the gate, the suburbs, the center, or the church square. I'm going to select suburbs, I think. Now, do take a look at this, just to make sure that we are going to be perfectly fine with out having any crashes, hopefully. This scene demands much of your computer. Consider lowering texture detail to 50%. I do want to continue, yes. Oh my. Whoa. No wonder it took a year. That is rather impressive, I have to admit. Look at this. It's even got leaves falling from the trees. Well, that is impressive, I have to say. That is really, really cool. And it even has a river with a bridge that you can cross. Whoa. Okay. Well... Color me surprised. <laughs> and impressed. Yes, very impressed indeed. But there it is. That is a small walk around the suburbs. And I suppose you can actually go to anywhere you like. So we could go to the center? I'm not sure whether... Oh my goodness, it's actually different. Wow. Okay, so if this hasn't actually convinced you to download this mod yet, I mean, the atmosphere alone is impressive enough to warrant a download. But goodness me... I can imagine that this is going to be one of the highest rated mods on ModDB, surely. Well, for some reason the armor is in a jail cell, but he still sells equipment. <laughs> That's impressive, oh yes. Okay, well there it is, that is a small look around Dirim, and we can now, of course, leave. Goodness, wow, okay, that is impressive. So we can now head on over here, there are going to be some rather standard looking weaponry, other than this Tempered Crusader's Longsword. And that is looking very good. And we have ten bullets as well. So that, of course, means that there are guns in this game. Unfortunately, I don't see any. I don't see any right here. We do have some standard-looking armor right here. Very nice to see that. Ooh, nice crown as well. We might want to get one of those. And then we have a heavy Swadian heraldic horse as well, which is great. Wow, we've actually got some pretty good gear, considering. But yes, there it is. That is a small look around Dirim. We are quite close to Halmar now, so we can just head down there with the cattle in tow. And we just need to be very cautious at night that we don't get pounced on by any wandering bandits. I have never known bandits to be around this area after all, so I don't think I really need to worry too much, but you never know. What? Quest failed! Did I move too far away from the cattle? Yes, I probably did. I moved too far away from the cattle. Well, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Oh, my. Okay, well, I suppose we could go to the castle. Oh. Aha! 
At the moment you make attempts to enter the castle, the guards immediately block the entrance. Access to the Hall of the Lord is denied. One of these heavily armed soldiers throws insults at you, referring to your low origin. Another guardsman tells, or rather, mumbles to you why access is denied. People of low origin are simply not allowed to enter the Hall of the Lord. Return to the town centre. Oh my, and we can check out the tavern, I suppose. This is going to be relatively similar because, of course, I don't think the taverns were really the places that needed reworking in the first place. And unfortunately, I can't afford Arty Mena to join us. Maybe I can get Alayan to join us? 300 dinars. Whoa, okay, that's also rather unfortunate. Okay, so I will tell you what. I will end this episode off here, and next time on Nova... Aetus? Oh, no. I am terrible. I do apologize. If the mod creator watches this, I do apologize for my awful pronunciation of your mod. I do thoroughly think that this is a very, very nice mod, and unfortunately I'm not able to say its name, but I will be returning to it in a second part, and we will explore more of the later progression. And by that I, of course, mean going to manage property, buying and renting it and so forth, purchasing some new gear and everything, trying to find what kinds of different units you will be able to acquire in this. And so, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.